to my art show. Welcome to MOLA, Museum of Leo's Art. We enjoyed putting this exhibit together to showcase my son Leo's creativity and range as an emerging youth artist. First off, this is our house. We've had to get creative during the pandemic, so we have an ongoing display in our dining room and even conducted a front yard art show. The first image we're going to show is what we call Don't Erase My Trees. Leo drew this on the big chalkboard wall in our kitchen. And every morning he would come down and say, don't erase my trees. But it reminds me of a saying we use in business, make sure to see the forest through the trees, the forest being the big picture and the trees being the detail. Well, you'll see from Leo's artwork that he has great attention to detail. Let's start with the purple train, as Leo calls the commuter rail. Before the pandemic, we would ride the train into Boston and back again, an event in and of itself. We especially love the detail Leo included on this, which has the blue handicap sign, as well as the big T. He's definitely missing our train rides. Animals, vehicles, and things he has seen all inspire Leo and are among his favorite things to draw and paint. Like this mommy pig and baby pig. I love the attention to detail of the curly tail on the mommy pig. And there's always a bright sun in the sky at the top of Leo's pictures, as you can see here. Hungry Pelican is the next one with a mouth full of fish in his beak. Clearly depicted wing on his side as he walks across the rocks. Harry the Owl. Leo typically names things Harry, so this colorful owl is no exception. Leo painted it with watercolors and has glitter outlining the owl. Showcasing one of my favorite landmarks in New Jersey. That's right, the Statue of Liberty is in New Jersey. Leo created this out of cut out pieces of paper and then put them back together in the shape of the Statue of Liberty. And if you see behind the crown, you can see fireworks in the distance. So this must be a 4th of July shot. And then of course the city in the background. So one of Leo's first traffic jams he loves drawing all kinds of vehicles, and this is just car upon car of every color. And when he started drawing these, he would draw so fast, like he had to get it out of his head. There's the two wheels on the little pink car. But you'll see as his drawings have progressed, he's definitely gotten more attention to detail and his vehicles as you can see in this next one, are becoming more refined. Still great colors and a definite traffic jam, but a lot more visible details on the cars, such as the police car in the upper left, which has uh, the yellow star on it for the sheriff's badge. We've definitely taken a lot of rides during the pandemic looking for cars. One of the places Leo has missed visiting most is Maine, and this picture depicts Perkins Cove in Agunquit, the little inlet area that has a lot of boats. And of course, there's one boat with an American flag. He doesn't forget that.
lots of summer sunflowers, one of our favorites. We have it displayed in two rooms of our house. I think this canvas is 16 by 20, and we've given this to a few friends. They also have it displayed in their homes. Just brightens up any room and makes a beautiful note card, which Leo has on his Etsy shop. Underneath Summer Sunflowers is the Up House. This is from the Disney movie Up, and Leo created this out of blocks. What I love about this is that it didn't come with a picture or a model of how it was supposed to look. He just put it together this way, realizing that the circles would make perfect balloons coming off the top of the house, like in the movie where all those balloons lift the house up off the ground definitely represents the vision Leo has uh, in his head and how he can piece things together to make something special. When Leo's feeling angry, or as we call it in the red zone, he definitely calms down when he draws and does his artwork. And he was feeling particularly angry one day and drew this picture really quickly. So artwork has been a great way for him to express his feelings and also to get back in the green zone as we call being calm. Speaking of calm places, we enjoy walking around a pond by our house and Leo must have seen the cattails there and actually recreated this, which he must have been about eight at the time, I think is pretty impressive that he would notice that detail and then come home and draw it. The center portion of Leo's display is one of the only drawings he's done during his virtual physical therapy sessions that wasn't at the chalkboard. He drew this freehand uh, on a big, big sheet of white paper that I had on the wall with quick sticks paint. And obviously the colors of these fruits are amazing, but also some of the details. So from the seeds in the watermelon, to the stem and little leaf on the apple, to the little spot on the orange where it must have been attached to the tree. And then I really love the precision of the shape of the pear. It's, it's just so on point, as well as the little tufts coming off the top of the blueberry. Next time you eat a blueberry, uh, check it out because that, that truly is how the top of a blueberry looks. <clears throat> and then the grapes with the little stem coming off the top. Shifting back to vehicles, one of the things I love with Leo's drawings is that they're almost like stories unfolding on paper. And so this first picture with the fire truck, and you can see the windshield wipers and the ladder, but it continues to evolve on his next sheet of paper where he's drawn the building that's actually on fire and you can see flames coming out of the window and then the hose of the fire truck is spraying water to try to put that out but you can still see the lights of the fire truck at the bottom of that picture i just think it's neat how he sort of comes up with a story as he's drawing Leo's really, really drawn every type of vehicle from kayaks to ice cream trucks. It would be impossible to display them all, but this was a pretty neat one, ferry boat, where he cut out all individual cars and glued them on individually, as well as the attention to detail on the life preserver. And then this next one, the submarine, where you can see the detailed windows and uh, the propeller in back, as well as the periscope peeking out of the top of the water, just ready to peek out of the top of the water. He's got the little water line there. And then of course a sailboat full of windows and a flag on top.
Rounding out today's exhibit will be animals. We actually have an animal alphabet book underway, but today um, we'll focus on chickens and roosters, and these must be inspired by Leo's visits at Drumlin Farm. And so starting with the chickens, there's a little pail of eggs over to the left, and then the roosters with their red crowns and the feathers and the little feet. One of the things I love most about the chicken picture is the little chicken at the bottom here who's walking with such purpose in her stride. The aquarium is another place Leo misses visiting, and so he's recreated it. Here's a tank full of octopus. He cut these out individually and then glued these all on as well. And then he also made a very colorful fish tank. Cutting all the little fish out individually and gluing them on. Finally, two of our favorites that we have displayed in our home, the two lions. The first one, bigger one on the left, cut out with pieces of paper and then pieced back together. I love how regal his mane looks. And then this is a simpler one. There's Leo walking by. This is a simpler one, just made out of paint. On Leo's Etsy shop, you'll find some of these great pieces as well as note cards, which make great holiday cards. They come forward to a pack and are blank inside. All of the proceeds from sales of Leo's artwork goes to the nonprofit organization we set up to help autism families. There's our 2020 calendar. We have a 2021 calendar underway as well, which will feature all the chalk art exhibits Leo created during his virtual PT sessions. Leo's also actually created a couple books already that he stapled and placed in his bookcase. Um, this one I'm paging through is about colors. Um, so I look forward to curating and producing those as well. And remember, it is important, the big picture, uh, but it is also about the details as you can see with Leo's great artwork. Hope you enjoyed visiting us today. Please follow us on Instagram and have a great day.